But no, I know Tony's fantastic. grumpy too. Yeah, Tony's grumpy. grumpy. Is he? About a very, very sensitive subject. Well, it is a sensitive subject. We've all got. I've got young kids. Uh, you know, 18 down to 13. I've got three of them. And the drug, the new drug proposal with the AFL. You know, they've said you get. One chance. This is about heroin, ecstasy, and a few other things. I know I'm too, too, but I'm yeah. grumpy about speed, all that sort of stuff. You get a chance. If they find out and they test you and they find out you're on heroin, you get one chance where you don't get suspended and they'll go, you know, mediation. You, you can get go that. Choice, no, 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 you don't. Hold on. Then you get no, but another. The club doesn't know the name of the player. No. The well, club don't they... know. No, the club doesn't know the player. They're not. Oh. They're not. Well, that's uh, ridiculous. That's another, I didn't know that's that. another one of Kevin's rules. <laughs> no, that's, that's not my rule. No, no, no. It's a pro... And it is a proposal, but if they bring it in, I, I think it's wrong. The second, then you get a second chance, don't you, KB, where something happens, you might get. Uh, then your club is told. They're the told second time. the second time. Your club is and then told. the third time. Well, between the first and second time, the problem is someone who's on the heroin or ecstasy or whatever could be addicted by this time. Like the kid could kill themselves. Now, I know it's too, it is a serious subject, but for mine, I reckon the AFL's got it wrong. I, I think if you're tested for heroin during the year, you're suspended until you can do some rehab to say you can come back to footy and you've been rehabilitated. What about that side of footy what, season, Shuri? What well, that, that's a, about, that, that is a harder thing because you can't penalise them then. But if I found out, Doug, and I don't know, you, you or Bobby or Kevin... No, but you can penalise them under the new rules. That's the idea. Care? 365 days of the year, yeah. they can even test you on oh, yeah, no, they test, if yeah. they want to, if yeah. they want to, for recreational drugs. That's a bad word, Bobby. Oh, recreational right. drugs. Illegal I, drugs would be a lot better. That's exactly right. How difficult is it, quite genuinely, for a real, a real old time, to obtain these drugs or to easy, get oh, on easy, easy, Bob, Bobby. Is it? Yeah, easy, you can yeah, get on the street corner now, Bobby. Yeah. It's like going to the milk bar. Is it? Yeah. yeah. And I'll tell you, the other thing, you know, which gets me is... A kid could die between each time that you're the levels of warnings. Testing. You know? I, and I, I wouldn't want to play. If you knew someone was on heroin and you were playing footy with them, would you want to play footy with them out in the football field? You, you couldn't no, trust them, could you? you get uh, tested well before that? Because obviously you wouldn't start straight on heroin, would you? You'd have to start on, you know... Something the, more, the lighter. Than lighter than but you might have got tested. You might, not everybody gets tested. But if the can't AFL they? is testing players, yeah. then they, surely that would be a great help to the AFL and also the player that they'd be able to find out the problems before they got too serious. Is there, is there, so. a, big, yeah, is there a big sort of a ladder that you start down here with an aspirin or something? And you go up to. Well, no oh, ladder, well, I don't know. No I've ladder. never tried it, but I, and I'm serious. I've never tried it. You wouldn't think it's a problem. You think it's a problem in the uh, AFL? You think it's drugs, wouldn't you? It's you think, think it's a problem, Kevin? Oh, D Dougie, it's a big problem. A bloke like Paul Dimitrino has come out and said that some blokes are taking ecstasy on the off season so that they don't drink beer. Because beer puts on weight, where a tablet, you still get the same high, but you don't put on the weight. Yes, well, but there's just... a bit of confusion there, isn't there? Why because is that? Dale Lewis said it was 75%. Oh, I wouldn't think it's 70%. Yeah, then I don't he went know down it's... to 40% with Paul Dimitino. The AFL says they test for 3% the recreational staggering. drugs. Yes. What did they bring in? New... I'm looking for the term here in New York about crime. What was that term they used when you just say, doesn't matter if you're jail, Zero tolerance. Zero to That's what we need. And I reckon in clubs, if you're tested, you just, you're suspended. You're out, Tony, you're out. No, you're, you're suspended until you have rehab. No Bob. strikes. We'll ask Bob, because he's the oldest statesman of the AFL. Should any player be disturbed if uh, they were to be tested for any sort of drug at any stage? No, I mean, if you, if you are professional and playing in a professional competition under their rules, if they say you have to be tested... You have to be tested. That's all it is. And if you're found yeah. guilty, here, here, out. Bobby, I'm with you. Out the door. Well, is anyone? I mean, if you, if you didn't want to be tested, I know Nick Rewalt came out strongly the other day from St Kilda. Well, I was surprised he, at that. And he said it's an invasion of privacy. Oh no, oh. it's not. It can't be. It, it, well, it, you've only got. It's only invasion of privacy if you've got something to hide. Oh, I think. Yeah. I, I might be wrong on the wrong track, but I I wouldn't want to be playing with a player who I know yeah, might be enough. taking heroin yeah, regularly. Enough, and, and it could impact. As a matter of fact, look, it's not a uh, performance enhancing. It's detrimental to probably their performance. That's why I wouldn't want to be playing with them. 